Very exciting. Watch this slow mo. Wow. Look at that punches. Where are they getting this power? Ever thought what's behind this key of punches? Is it the inertia? Is it the force? Is it the snap? Have you ever been snapped by releasing a vice grip? Or maybe by a well trained muscle punch? Good day to all of you. This is Rika Pistrano. And as a scientist, we will digest this topic in layman's term. Physics, biochemistry, and simple lingo. We will study and demystify how a KO punch force is generated. First, let's understand force or punch force. Uh, it is the weight of a punch impact in unit of kilogram, pounds, or newton, or simply a kilogram impact of a fist accelerating at 1 meter per second. What are the factors that contribute to this KO punch force? Hardest hitters in boxing history are Mike Tyson, Sonny Liston, Joe Lewis, George Foreman, Rocky Marciano, Joe Fraser, and the list goes on. And we can see that Pacquiao, Ali, Mosley, and Mayweather are not listed here. This seems to indicate that it may be the technique that may come to become a KO puncher in boxing. A study of seven Olympic boxers in weight classes ranging from flyweight to super heavyweight showed a range of 203 to 485 kilogram of punching force. Energy transferred from a punch force to a target varied widely depending on how heavy uh, the boxer's hands and gloves were, how they punch, and how rigidly they held their wrist. The heavier the weight class, the harder and higher the KO punch force. This is the reason why we will focus only on the nearby weight class of flyweight to welterweight. Let's have a little background. Marami ba kayong used oil, fats, or grease? This machine is a breakthrough by diesel reactor. Kino-convert nito ang used or unused cooking oil mula sa plants and animals to green efficient fuel called biodiesel. Ito ay mabisang alternatibong powerful fuel kumpara sa diesel na di na kailangang i-modify ang ating diesel engines. Ang mga magandang na idudulot nito ay ang malinis na usok mula sa tambucho. Nababawasan ang vibration at ingay ng makina at nililinis nito ang duming deposit ng diesel dahil nga ito ay mula sa madulas na langis na pinagmumulan din ng paggawa ng sabon. Gumaganda rin ang combustion dahil sa higit dalawang beses ang taas ng cetane rating nito. At ito ay environmental friendly dahil ito ay recycling, sustainable, biodegradable at renewable source ng energy. Sinusuportahan ng DOE, DNR at DTI ang paggawa ng green sustainable na fuel na ito. May dalawang batas na ginawa para dito. Ito ang Biofuels Act of 2006 at Renewable Energy Act of 2008. Na-optimize ng CBR biodiesel reactor na ito ang paggawa ng biodiesel. Sa patented na technology, Ang reaction time nito para makagawa ng biodiesel ay 30 minutes lang kumpara sa tatlong araw sa malalaking biodiesel brewers sa mundo. Meron itong control panel at maliwanag na LED light sa loob para makita ang nangyayaring reaction. May kasama rin itong digital fuel nozzle, QC toolkits at cellphone apps na malaking tulong sa mabilis na paggawa ng biodiesel. Suportado rin ito ng professional technical coaching para sa maayos at pulidong conversion ng iba't ibang oils to quality biodiesel na pwedeng ikarga agad matapos gawin sa sasakyan diesel. We are CBR Beyond Technology. Call now for more information. We may be reached at 0917-502-4426. I'll repeat, 0917-502-4426. We welcome dealers and distributors. 1985 study of Frank Bruno, who'd go on to be WBC heavyweight champion of 1995, showed he could punch with a force of 418 kilograms in the lab. Researchers extrapolated this to be a real blow of 645 kilograms. This is enough to accelerate his opponent's head at the rate of 53 times the force of gravity. Wow, 53 times the force of gravity. If a boxer happens to punch an opponent while his weight is moving towards him, then the punch will be more devastating. Speed is not only power. Power is acceleration times mass. Power is not only speed. You must have a force or weight behind that speed. And that is punch force. 
A past punch will not hit hard unless you put some body weight behind it. You move your body like Bruce Lee's theory behind this famous one-inch punch. Moving your whole body one inch hits much harder than moving your arms one foot. And Manny Pacquiao and McGregor has shown a lot of that. You must move your entire body to get the maximum force or weight behind that punch. The trick is not to focus on moving your body a great distance, but rather to move it at all at the same time. Use your arms, legs, and body. The biggest muscles in your body will generate the most power. People who punch only with their arms will never punch with real power, as in use this as a total body, physics, and biochemistry. Stay inside your range. Your strongest punch doesn't land when your arms are fully outstretched or your opponent is just too near your body. Your punch hits harder when it lands a bit shorter than your full range of motion. Don't reach, remember Bruce Lee's theory. Use angles. Punching from different angles like Loma and Pacman will give your punches with more power, more punching opportunities, and more damage to your opponent. And this, is, uh, and this requires good footwork. Let me caution you, however, likewise on the physics of danger, that being a boxer poses lots of danger. This sport is not for typical physique without training. Punches to the head, especially snap one, as history tells us, can cause detached retinas, brain hemorrhage, fractured bones, and permanent neurological disorder. In boxing history, a peep of boxers list per year suffer from dementia pugilistica, the consequence of repeated blows to the skull. Remember the late days of Ali? It's characterized by his large speech and an awkward walk. Worse can happen. Boxing has killed at least 650 fighters from 1918 through 1997. Remember si Cores, Carlo Maquinto, and Pacquiao's friend, Eugene Barutag. Are you worrying that your business can be shut off by lockdown during these times of pandemic and financial hardships? Well, stop worrying now and have peace of mind. Let us NanoClouds disinfection system resolve this issue for you so you may then focus on your expertise, growing your biz. We have the following technology. First, an effective PAQ disinfectant that's proven to annihilate even the most difficult to kill bacteria and virus with a kill rate of log 6. This the highest among all disinfectants in global market. This is US EPA registered, proven by independent US lab and hospital tested. Second, a nanoclouds and UVC disinfection panel for big employees. All our nanoclouds machine has sonic boom technology converting the disinfectant into molecular size, smaller than the coronavirus for an even better bioefficacy. The safe UVC, on the other hand, kills hiding survivors underneath screen cavities and clothing. With automatic controls, remote and movement sensor, and digital temperature display with audible siren alarm. Third, a nanoclouds and UVC disinfection door tied from malls and transport stations to protect your clients as well as your staff. Fourth, nanoclouds and safe UVC disinfection transport type system. This can be installed in vehicles like chimneys, buses, and vans, making passengers and drivers safe. Fifth, custom-built nanoclouds and safe UVC for autom automatic scheduled plant disinfection system. Do disinfection staff-free. Example, you may set at 2 a.m. for whatever time duration. You may also opt for camera which will allow you to see plant disinfection at the convenience of your home through your cell phone. Sixth, portable nanoclouds that you may strap on your shoulder or pull via its wheel for disinfection of your places, bees, home, or office. We are CBR Beyond Technology. Call now which among these will feed your bees and for more information. We may be reached at 0917-502-4426. I repeat, 0917-502-4426. Five zero two four four two six. We welcome dealers and distributors. Set aside lockdown now and start growing your bees. Now let's go 
uh, let's go over some video slow mo and have it analyzed let's analyze some fights Mayweather Jr. wasn't known for his knockout power maybe because his hands were injured number of times during his fights when he's at the lower weight class he has 335 kilogram punch force before at younger years he has 370 kilogram because of these injuries he's now known as excellent defensive boxer for his shoulder roll defense and counter punches. This made him not the most exciting fighter to watch, except when you're a track and field runner. Mostly had 360 kilogram force, bit lower than that of Mayweather. Observe in this video how he used this effectively against Mayweather, and he almost downed the unbeaten opponent. Pacquiao, on the other hand, has won 39 of his 71 professional fights by way of knockout. He has combined his momentum, weight, and speed, calculating each punch to be hitting the target with 366 kilograms of force, an amount which suggests a punch from Pacquiao would be like a shotgun, mostly said in Fight Hub interview after losing to Pacquiao. He has some different hitting power. He's not physically strong, but he hits pretty good, like he has a good snap or something. He's not heavy-handed. It's the weirdest thing. Uh, if well take a look here, uh, Pac-Man uses Jiu-Jitsu hook, which made Hatton to fall down easily, as assisted by Hatton's body directional momentum. And this second slow-mo uh, video, uh, the famous Pac-Man's left hook with pull inertia, assisted by uh, forward body momentum. McGregor in his arsenal has 339 kilogram of punch force, which is much lower than that of Mayweather, Pac-Man, or even Mosley. Again, how does he obtain that punching power? Observe how he used this against Eddie Alvarez in this slow-mo video. McGregor got an inertia by moving a little backward, then throw right with a swinging force to the right ear of Alvarez. See how the head was thrown downward by the sheer force? This downward direction of the head was then met with an upward right of McGregor doubling the intensity of the force. This can be 500 kg shear force, which may be likened to a two colliding vehicles head-on. These were repeated twice, which became unbearable, downing Alvarez instantly. Very interesting technique we previously discussed. Maybe we can compare and analyze this data and the factors creating a KO punch force with that of a mantis shrimp. This is Odonto dactylus silarus, which is not a shrimp, but a stomatopods or a distant relative of crabs. Look at this video. The speed of the striking appendage were 14 to 23 meters per second, with a peak acceleration ranging from 6,300 to 8,000 times that of gravity. The creatures also have the most sophisticated eyes of any animals on earth. Look, sharpness of the eye is also a factor. Its club punch force is only 153 kg. This is uh, way below of our boxer's punch force, but due to high acceleration and snap, this is 200 times better. That's why it can break aquarium glasses, break thick shells of mollusks, and most of the time, remove their defense clipper. It has two hard gloves, like a boxing gloves, made of thick, specially layered chitin, attached to an upper spring muscle, shaped like hyperbolic paraboloid, simply described as potato chips, like Pringles. This snapping force creates a vacuum, as indicated by the localized heat and cavitation, as measured by instrument, scientifically multiplying the force five times. Now, let's compare the overall data in this table, including that of mantis shrimps. Mayweather has 370 kg force, but this was measured uh, before damaging his hands. Pacquiao has 366, and third, mostly has 360 kg. McGregor has 339 kg, and the mantis shrimp, 153 kg. Observe the snapping punch force of Manny Pacquiao here. It is similar to unlocking a bicycle tools that snap when your finger is hit 
you feel the pain even for days. Look as well as the paraboloid muscle in circle in this picture. Pull legs, body and hand power punch with inertia with the scapular and brachial muscles as in circle just like mantis shrimp's parab parabolic paraboloid muscle. Maybe by training hard enough to have a snappy punch, one develop a paraboloid muscle similar to mantis shrimp. From here, we can conclude, in my opinion as a scientist, that really alongside the big punch force, all the factors discussed above contributed a lot to the knockout power of a punch. For aspiring young boxers and MMS fighters, we can learn a lot from this data. Do you agree? Please comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell.